Hello! Glad you could join us on our flight into the new, and uh, should we say, top secret Biosyn lab. So here we are. I can't really disclose the location, so you're just gonna have to kind of just see and, you know, just, just join along. So here we are, you can see a lovely uh, valley. And as you know, I mean, this is, you know, it's how many years after Jurassic World, we have so many uh, different dinosaurs now just kind of roaming about. As you can see overhead, what, what, what do we have here? I think those may even be the Zootoceratops. So we can get a close look at these guys. Yes, look at them. Aren't they pretty? Uh, we had a little bit of an incident with these guys. They were, of course, you know, uh, running about in some sort of camp. And uh, we managed to sort of isolate them here. As you'll come to know, so there will be loads of other uh, dinosaurs uh, that are sort of wandering around our grounds. You know, we, we keep them safe here. That's what we want to do. We, we're, we're here about safety. So I'm glad you could join us for this fight. So we're going to take this a little bit higher. And we're going to go forward. We're going to have a look around. Now, the, the dinosaurs here, it was interesting. I sort of placed them around, and I was wondering wh as to whether they would sort of stay in one location. Um, and if even they would herd together. I know I, I've heard through the grapevine that people have wanted to see a playthrough on this game. Uh, sort of see well, what what does the gaming beaver have to say about this game? Or who I'd like to see a let's play make a park. Look, we got a lovely interaction here with a pair of apatosauruses. Beautiful, gorgeous. As you'll notice, um, some of the UI is also pitching out. Um, you'll come to see why this is happening. Uh, we've also got some uh, patches here, I think. Is they patches? Yes, they are. Hello, and you cuties. So they all started in the middle here, and they they just sort of found out. We actually have a huge. I say huge. Maybe not too big. No, wait, what? what oh. There was something here. <laughs> you saw that I did too. Hopefully you're not dead. No, Apache Seven was having a sleep. And then we've got a whole herd. Like we click F. Yeah, look at that. We got a little bit black bars. Uh, you got Stegos here, Nozudo Ceratops. It, it, it's a wonderful time. So we're just going to survey the premises uh, before we take you in. <laughs> we can't talk about it too much, can we? Um, so yeah, I kind of wanted to just make this place. Um, because as far as we've seen in the trailer, one of the weirdest things I've noticed behavior-wise, because I know people wanted to see a sanctuary uh, sort of park. Maybe we will do it. Leave it in the comments below if you'd like to see a sanctuary. Or possibly this one continued. But again, we've got some issues that we are going to talk about. Calamimus seemed to just... The, I mean, there was like five of them. And then the pack leader or herd leader just ended up buggering off completely by itself. It was, it was very odd, very odd. Um, so we'll uh, keep on going this way. Uh, what do we have over here? We've got, oh, the herd of ankylosaurs! Uh, minus one, actually. There should be another one there, but it's it's missing. It's MIA. Well, we're gonna have to, oh, is that it? No, I don't think that is. We, we, well, we first must have to find where the uh, the missing thing is. Oh, what is this? Again, we've got another dinosaur just randomly by itself, and it is, it's a Calamimus! I think, just by itself, either that or a street virus, but there are multiples of every dinosaur species, so we filled this park, or this area with all of the you know, dinosaur species that we may be able to see. Should, should we keep the aviators? I think we'll keep the aviators on, I think, yeah, kind of gives that, uh, maybe we'll take the voice off. We'll keep the aviators on, yes. So we've got some Brachostachosaurus! You thought it had died. You thought that Jay Biona was pulling a, a cheap one. Get you to cry at the Brachiosaur. No, we saved it. It's here. Yeah, see, it's fine. <laughs> it's alive. It's not deed. Uh, also, we've got some lovely uh, special parasaurs over here. If you've uh, seen the DLC, you'll know exactly what these ones are. Uh, the, the, I mean, we, we've tried to sort of keep them in their natural environment. They're not really scared, or however, of helicopters. And unfortunately, that's part of a byproduct of living and being cared for by humans like us. Uh, they're not scared of us anymore, which means they're, they're uh, ripe for poaching. Uh, here we go, another, um, I think, oh no, it is a street thing, just, just by itself. Again, just sit, I, I don't know why they're just sort of around. Oh, ignore that, there's nothing. <laughs> but we have more than herbivores in this area. No, no, the, uh, the bigger, more scary sort of, uh, Inhabitants are being a little bit hard to search for or see from the sky, so we'll go up a little bit higher. Oh, we got the Nazuroceratops moving towards the south, uh, towards that little bit of water. Okay, that's that's something good. We've got to keep an eye on them. Aha! There we go. There's one. Oh, come on, then we need to get a close up of you. 
Or, oh, scaring away a, a parasaur that seemed to be just by itself. Ooh, what are you? Let's have a quick look. Yeah, I think you are, you are a Carnotaurus, yes! Yes, the same Carnotaurus that you may have seen in this uh, upcoming movie, maybe, yes. Who maybe was not captured in a faraway place and then transferred here. No, not at all. Why are you always on the wrong side? There it is, look, see. Aren't you pretty? Yes! Hey! Fair enough. Well, you are pretty. Okay. Right. So, I mean, like I said, all these dinosaurs are around everywhere. But it's, uh, I think it's about time we, uh, oh, here's, here's a little bit of a base, uh, where we've got set up just to, to observe the dinosaurs. But really, we might as well fly you in to the actual base itself! There it is! What do you think of it? Roll the music! But Yeah, that's one. <laughs> Yeah, this is the Biosyn facility. Um, uh, before we get into, you know, exactly how this was created, um, you may have seen uh, Rudy, Rudy Ramcamel, Ramcamel. Uh, sorry, I can't remember the second name, uh, made a cr amazing build on this. Um, so I wanted to sort of do my own. So I've used some of the similar things because unfortunately when it comes to Jurassic World Evolution, there's only so much you can do. Um, and there's only so many buildings you get, so there's only so much, you know, you can actually put on to make it, you know, as accurate or you, to the trailer that we've seen. Uh, so I've, we've, we've got like a little bit of a fence or a, a walkway running around the outside with the latest DLC with the cages there. Um, and of course mods, there is so many mods in here. So we've got the decorative uh, trees or placeable trees that you can place down here, which is basically crashing the game. <laughs> oh god, it's horrendous. We've also got, you know, being able to place buildings inside each other. As you can see right here, you've got like three different types of viewing towers just to make the outside. Uh, here's a walkway and uh, a way to view dinosaurs a little bit closer. Up. So if we go over to have a look, here it is, the main hub and center of the Biosyn facility. So I'm just going to set her down here. Yes, yes, this is marvelous. John Hammond would be proud, or maybe he wouldn't be, because we're kind of a rival to him. But, we're, you know, we're not the bad guys here. We're not the bad guys. If I can bloom and land this helicopter. You should have seen the, the way the helicopters were lined up before. Oh, it was horrendous trying to get landed. Almost. Almost. Yeah, no. Yep, got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. So here it is in all of its glory. We've just put loads of buildings inside each other. Uh, this has taken days to make. Like, I wanted to get everything perfect. Uh, we've got like the placeable trees to make the top, as well as little bits of other buildings that are actually inside um, to give the, you know, the idea or the, the illusion as it were, of, of, you know, things that would be on top of a building. Because there's only so much we can do, uh, especially with height. We've also got a little pool on top, because why not? Who doesn't want to be there, right? Um, you've all got here as well the little bit of the aquarium. We've also uh, got something big to release here, because we're Biosyn. We're, you know, we're not just, you know, we have dug all our dinosaurs from a specific deposit and got all of them except for Rexy, of course, that was stolen by InGen. Uh, but we've got all the Giga and all that, all the, even the, the crazy prehistoric locusts um, that will not go on a rampage and uh, aren't used for any uh, uh, bad things, yes, I'd say. Uh, but we've also been experimenting with some remains of uh, a, a leftover for when it came from uh, Masrani, the Indominus Rex. We, 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 we've talked to Dr. Wu just a little bit, uh, but before we get into that, uh, let's just have a look down here. So, to break the fourth wall, just a little bit. I had such high hopes for this park. I really did. I thought this is going to be so cool. We can have the first episode as, like, this is. I mean, look at it there. Look at it. It's gorgeous. It looks so good. Um, and then if you look at the map, oh, now we start to see a big, big problem. Uh, there is a lot of stuff here. And that's not even counting if we go in the demolish thing. All of the individually placed trees. So safe to say we have pushed this game to its breaking point. So much so, recording this episode has taken five attempts without it crashing. And in order to do that, I've had to delete a lot of things. Because um, as soon as I started making something, I click save. And uh, the game 
doesn't show me any save files. The game says no save files. <laughs> so I can't save it unless I delete things. Um, so originally this, there was loads of trees around here, you know, because you can't get trees this close to the path. That I think I said in the video when I talked about decorations is that you want this, you, Jurassic World Evolution suffers from the problem of everything feeling too big. So if we go in first person mode, hope it doesn't crash it because I've never done this before and just drop in here. Oh, there we go. Look at this. If there was more trees, it would feel enclosed and it feels bigger and it's marvelous. Look at this. Here we are on the ground walking around. You've got an entrance there, another entrance there. I think these are the, the back ends of Avery's actually, Avery viewers. Um, and I was going to do so much, so much with this, but I've hit the point where I can't place anymore. <laughs> or we can even drive a vehicle if we want. Like, look at this. It looks so cool. Uh, let's have a little run around the outside because when I was making this, I was getting vibes of arc when I recreated the uh, raptor pen from Jurassic World. It's like, oh my god, this is it. This is it's it. This is perfect. I, I, we could do so much. And then the crashes started happening and the UI glitches started happening. And then I started to realize that I was on a finite amount of time. <laughs> in order oh, to, to record or do things until things broke. Uh, oh, so yeah, as you can see, uh, not the best of you. Let's be honest. Uh, oh, oh no, I'm trapped. Ah! Just skip out of here. So I thought this would be a really cool way to, you know, it'd be great if, you know, there was a way to have things like open-ended so you could literally walk through and go from one bit to the other. Because uh, I put it at the entrance. So if we were to, you know, go on the ground here and have a look up through there, we could exit and then walk through it. And oh, wow. There's so many different things we could do. But you can't. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I think as far as this part goes, this is as much as I can do with it and it pains me to say that because I've spent so many times uh, so much time on this uh, this is the eighth iteration of this park um, and my idea was what we can do and maybe if uh, any mod moderators are able to fix the the you know the ability to add more and to add more space but I really think they're working with what they've got then I was going to ask people to you know what can we place there we can recreate uh, you know the different habitat or something over here maybe we can try and wrangle these dinosaurs up because dinosaurs are in the world now this is what dominion is uh, however, in order for me to, you know, make something as beautiful as this, and maybe we'll get something like this in the Dominion DLC, and then, you know, which will inevitably com be coming out in June, we can do something like this. But for now, uh, it, it, this is as m as best as I can do, because as soon as I start making things, uh, I mean, I'll try it, I'll show you, I'll go save now. Um, and I am able to do it, I can save. And as you can see at the top, we've already got glitches. It's not sure. I can't click on things. Normally, that's what appears is no saves found. And that is terrifying. The first time you come up against it, and you go, no. <laughs> uh, but oh, back, back to Biosyn. Hold, hold on. There we go. Biosyn. So what are we are doing today? I mean, maybe there's only so much we can do in the first episode. Or maybe we'll get more out. But uh, we've been working on some things. And... Uh, Yes, we've got an Indominus Rex to showcase, but I mean, it's not an Indominus Rex. I'll, I'll let it speak for itself. Uh, let, let's let's release it, shall we? Um, some of you might remember what this is, or maybe you maybe you've heard or you've heard rumors about what this creature is. Yes, yes, it is the beauty with working eyeballs. What we were promised from the start. An Indominus Rex looking Indotaurus. And, um, yeah, it's just gonna, you know, now uh, wreak havoc on the dinosaurs. And I'm just gonna let it go. And uh, we're now gonna try and track it down in the Jeep. And just see how it, you know, there's other dinosaurs out there. Maybe something bigger. I don't know. Let's have a check. This is definitely not what I was expecting. It, it like, coming towards the, 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 the Blumen facility. Uh, you're, you're not supposed to be here. You're supposed you're supposed to be going out and, and and killing things. Oh yes, I love the purple square. Don't don't you guys love it too? Well, it's been status checked and apparently it's coming to kill people. Isn't that brilliant? Okay, you know what we should do? We should open the park, shouldn't we? Yes, let's open the park. <laughs> 
Of course, this mod was created by the same people that uh, made the other mod that I showcased with the Thordolosaurus, the Utah Sinraptor. Uh, they gave me both variations of this. Um, and I didn't know which one to, to use, because I really, we could only use one, I suppose, um, to showcase. So I was kind of keeping this one for something else, and uh, I thought, you know, what better what other kind of way to do it? Showcase it, than something as cool as this. So while he's sort of running about, we can have a look at just what everything else is doing, and the territories that they've sort of managed to claim. So apparently the Gallimimus, when, I don't know whether this is glitching because there's so many things, but I thought that, you know, when a dinosaur had reached its limit or had got what it needed, it would stop to, you know, look for things. However, Gallimimus is everywhere. Uh, it, its territory is absolutely ginormous. The, uh, the ankylosaurs are also absolutely ginormous. Some of them seem to just kind of break off by themselves. Like we got one Dilophosaurus there by itself. Um, this herd of Nazutoceratops has claimed so many things. So the weird thing is, if, if dinosaurs have moved out away from the big group, their territories are a lot smaller. Like, for instance, we got Dilophosaurus here that's a, a, a herd king, pack leader of, of nothing, and is just by itself, when they all originally did start at one place. Right here, right next to this hatchery. Ah, yes, the classic uh, uh, Indominus Rex status there. A standing by. Yes, that that's so not a glitch. <laughs> All right, so here we are. We're uh, we're outside in the plains. Um, the biosyn facility is over there somewhere. Apparently, the Indotaurus or Indominus Rex was uh, hunting something over here. Oh God! I think it I think it got one. Yep, yep. There it is. <laughs> I kind of like this that I, I I don't get to see it. And by the time we get over there, it's gone. Yep, was that, was that the Gallimimus? Yep, yep, that was the Gallimimus. And I, I don't think... Oh, I can sort of follow it into the woods. Whoa. Oh, no, I can only follow it so far. Why must you go where I can't follow? No. <gasps> there it is. There's the little Ankylosaur. I was wondering where it had gone. Where it had got to. Yeah, we have a little bumpy. Yeah. So adorable. However, you are getting very close to the Indominus Rex, who I think is round about this area. Because the Gallimimus it killed was somewhere over there, and he went back into the woods over here. So, I don't know if uh, Bumby's feeling very safe. There is another Ankylosaur. Yeah, there's another Ankylosaur over here as well, so maybe it won't be so bad. Maybe it'll go for that one. Let's see. Can we spot it? Aha, there it is. Oh, okay. No, yep. It it it's it looks like it's going over towards the ankylosaurs. Oh, oh god. Okay, here we go. We got a hunt. The Gallimimus sprinting away. Oh, there's multiple Gallimimus. I think it's gonna be this one though. No, <laughs> Side sidestepping really didn't seem to work there. No. Um, I think Intertaurus decided not to go for the uh, ankylosaurs, and uh, instead just to kill another Gallimimus. Obviously, it really likes it. Oh, it went to sleep with it too. Bless. <laughs> Wait, what are you hunting now? Oh! Oh, it's a para! Oh, I didn't even know it. I was like, what's, what's a para? But yep, yep, there you go. Para also killed in the forest as well. Where did that guy come from? So, yeah. Wh oh, there's the paras. Or at least two of them are over here. How did that one go? Three of them. He went all the way over there. Jesus. Right. So we have the two brachiosaurs over here. Uh, that. Oh, God, is that it? I, th I think that was it over there. Yeah, yeah, hold on. I was so sure that was the Indotaurus. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, God. Yep. It's attacked one of the Brachiosaurs. Oh, bless it. So, yeah, before we go, I want to say a massive thank you to Kyodenic, who was the person who's created the mods that allow you to uh, put things inside other things is the scientific term. Yes. Um, like buildings inside of buildings. Um, and also I think has made the, uh, the decorat decorative trees and stuff like that. So you can just place them in there. And now because of all that, we can make something as amazing as this. The only downside is that it really does mess with it because it's saving them as like, I guess, a decoration instead of just like a regular tree. Because there's so many trees here, but the game doesn't have a problem with those. But because these are placeable, uh, it's like, nah, not happy with those. Can't do that. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> you didn't say the magic word. So if we were able to like carry on this park 
and add other things to it. What would you like to see? I am genuinely curious because I would love to continue on this. I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. I, I really just wanted to make like the, the main bit there something truly to behold. Like, you know, like this really encased, like slick looking courtyard uh, with multiple helicopters and stuff. But I've, ha I've had to trim it down and I've had to delete quite a few trees, which is probably why you can see through a little bit there. Um, and I also had to take out all the rocks that were around the lagoon, sort of hiding uh, the barriers of the lagoon and stuff. Uh, especially this. This was a waterfall filled with trees on the edge and rocks and stuff, sort of to hide that there was two tiers. Um, but uh, yeah, I had to delete that as well in order to get this video to work. We've had to make some compromises here. Uh, that is, is the nature of the beast, unfortunately. Um, but I, I mean, I'm, I'm really happy with how it turned out. And I want to say thank you to Rudy as well, who when I saw that episode he made on making this. Damn, I want to do that. That looks so cool. And I've never really attempted anything like building anything too complicated when it came to this game at all. So... I just had so many plans with this. I was like, yeah, we could do this. I mean, as you can see, the frame rate is not the best. And <laughs> we don't have much going on. Like, literally, the only thing going on with this whole map is over there. However, there is probably about 200 to 300 viewing platforms in there. And way over, like, 500 trees. Must be, like, almost 1,000 trees in there. So, yeah, that's probably where all the space is being eaten up. Um, and also, we've probably got Indotaurus somewhere down there. I think it's probably killed a Brachiosaur. I wouldn't be surprised if we could see it. I, and that's one thing I wanted to do was kind of run this park without looking at the map. And just see if we can, like, keep an eye on the dinosaurs. Maybe save them before Indotaurus uh, manages to eat them all. In fact, there is an Ankylosaur right down there. Yeah, I see an Ankylosaur there. Um, but there's no sign of that green Brachiosaur that was wandering around about here. So I am assuming... Uh, Bumpy's over there. Bumpy's still alive. Uh, but the other... The other Brachiosaur? Nah, nah, that one's gone. I'm assuming. Uh, there was a... Oh, no, there it is! Oh, is it just died? It looks like it's just rolled over. Oh, and this is what I love about this. Like, don't check the map. Just try and find out, like, where is Indotaurus? And just see if we can, like, capture it and detain it before it kills, like, so many dinosaurs. And maybe we could have made, like, a camping site. Like in Battle of Big Rock. There's like so many different things we could do. There's the other remaining Brachiosaur, but still no sign of Indotaurus. Okay, let's have a look. Where where was Indotaurus? I was kinda I'm kinda curious. Yeah, where is Indotaurus? Oh there it is! It's all the way out here. Oh bless you. I'm a little stroll, but we get a good look at you at least a little bit more. Again, something that Jurassic World Alive promised us with the hybrid was it standing like that. And when we got it, it was on all fours, like Indoraptor. And it was like, oh, come on. It would have been so cool to have like another Indominus Rex animation set. And we'll get that picture. But anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off here. This has been the Biosyn Lab from Jurassic World Dominion. At least I'm pretty sure it's Biosyn. It's, it's, it's probably going to be Biosyn. But anyway, guys, if you've enjoyed this video, uh, leave a like, and until next time, maybe we'll continue with this part. Maybe there'll be some sort of breakthrough where we can continue it and actually sort of build on it and make a narrative or something like that. Uh, or if you want to see any specific kind of park build, like this kind of sanctuary thing, except for without a giant mass of buildings and trees, slowly stuttering the game to a stop. <laughs> but we'll see. Anyway, guys, thank you again for watching, and until next time, I'll see you cuties later. Oh, bye-bye.